Domain or range of a function. Domain of a function is the input for the function set of all x values. Should be written as an inequality, just like the one listed. Range of the function is the output for the function set of all y values. The range should be written as an inequality as well. Again, uh, we're looking for lowest or you know left to right for domain because it's x. What's the farthest left to the farthest right? The graph grow, goes small list. What's the lowest to the highest? Because y is vertical. Let's take a look at what this looks like on graphs. Okay, so here I have uh, a few different graphs. Let's talk about the domain and range of each. All right, if uh, you're doing this, you know, a very simple thing that you can do is go ahead and set your domain and range up each time. Oops. And then all you're doing is filling in the blanks. So if I do that for this first one, what's the farthest left my graph goes? As I'm looking at my graph, the farthest left or the smallest x value is this one right here, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 6. So negative 6, I fill in. The farthest to the right it goes is 6. All right, so that's left to right for my domain. And now I look at my range. That's low to high. What's the lowest the graph goes? So it looks like the lowest point ends up being this one right here. The y value there is 0. The highest the graph goes ends up being this point right here, okay, which is 6. So there's your domain and range for that graph. I want you to go ahead and try these other two here and check back. Just a small correction I'm going to make here uh, in this original one. All right, I forgot to mention that if it's a closed-in circle, you all know this, that would mean it could be equal to, and then closed-in circle here as well, equal to. The lowest is 0, that's closed in, equal to. Highest is 6, closed in, equal to. That's important. I forgot to mention that. So let's take a look here at this graph. Left is negative 7, closed in, equal to. Right is positive 5, open, not equal to. Okay, lowest is negative 3, closed in, equal to. Highest is 1, open. All right, over here we have a special case. It's a vertical line, so the only x values are negative 5 to negative 5. You could also just say in that special case, that in the domain, x can only equal negative 5. That would be acceptable. The y values, however, go from negative 2, open circle, to 6, open circle. Let's take a look at a few more examples that give us a few other scenarios. Okay, so here's three more. I want you to go ahead and try these and then check back. Okay, now if I'm explaining each of these, what I'm going to tell you here is this is a circle. So left to right, my circle is going from negative 4, okay, to 4. Lowest is negative 4, highest is 4. So that's my domain of range. I have equal twos because uh, my graph actually goes through those points. This is a sideways parabola, a sleeping parabola. The domain starts at zero. That's the first domain value. These arrows mean it goes on forever. So that's going on to positive infinity. There's no equal to for infinity. Remember, it's not an actual point. The range values, this is a little tricky. Some people want to just look at the graph itself that you can see. But remember, these arrows means it goes on forever. So this arrow is going to continuously go down to negative infinity. This arrow is going to continuously go up to positive infinity. So that's why my range goes from negative infinity to positive infinity. Last, we have the domain here of a horizontal line. Starts at zero, open circle, open set, and it goes on forever. So it goes to infinity. My range, however, is just four. So I can write y equals four. Well, what if we're not given a graph? What if we're given an equation for domain and range? You have a couple options. All right, first, you could graph the equation. If I was graphing 3x plus 5, what would it look like? Well, it would start at 5. It would grow by 3. Okay, it's a line. It has arrows at both ends. So that should make my domain and range fairly easy. My domain goes forever both ways. Negative infinity to positive infinity. My range goes negative infinity to positive infinity. You could also remember that every linear equation is like that. All linear equations. We know they're linear because they have just an x in them. The second one is a parabola. If I were to graph this parabola, what would it look like? Okay, it would probably look something like this. 
Okay, I would have to go to my table and figure out what this lowest point is. All right, it happens to be negative five. And then I would write my domain and range. So my domain, because <clears throat> this is going to the left and that's going to the right, is going to be negative infinity to infinity. My range does have a low point this time, it's negative five. I would find that from the table on my calculator, but it does not have a highest value, it goes on forever, so it would be infinity. And again, I gotta use my calculator, my table to find that number. Last would be the graph of an absolute value. If I were to graph that absolute value, it would look like this. Okay, so my domain for that absolute value, left, right. I know they look like up, but it's left and up, right? And it's going forever. So negative infinity, x, infinity. My range, however, does have a lowest point. This time it's zero. I have to use my calculator table to see that. It does equal zero because it touches it. And those arrows are going up forever, therefore it goes to infinity. Now, the other piece you could remember here is we only know functions that have unlimited domain. All equations we know. Okay, are gonna go negative infinity to infinity. You don't know anything else yet. So your answer for domain when you're given an equation is always gonna be negative infinity to infinity until you get to algebra two, and then that changes. All right, now the range is different though. You're gonna have to be able to find low and high points, and just remember, it's not only what you see, it's also about how does the graph end when those arrows are there.